Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back for another beer review. I'm PJ, this is Sir Griffalot. <laughs> Today we're going to be reviewing uh, Crooked Staves Raspberry Origins. It's a burgundy sour ale aged in oat barrels with raspberries. That sounds like a Marvel movie. Yeah. <laughs> I picked this up at uh, Mr. B's in Denver, so I got it pretty much right at the source. Uh, it was the most expensive bottle of a Crooked Stave they had. What well, what it run? Uh, I think it's 15 bucks for this. See, today we were down at um, Whole Foods in Louisville, and it was 12.99. That oh, that's here. Yeah. Oh, that was down in Louisville today. So, Mr. B's, you give me two bucks back if you want. Yeah. <laughs> Savings catcher. But yeah, it, it's it's available now. So, um, if you're interested in this, um, but yeah. I think there's another variant that's the dark, the raspberry dark. I did. Yeah, I was researching some on on the iPad here, and there's a dark. I don't know what that is. Like, I'm not sure what that it means. It's like double raspberries or something. Yeah, that, that, that sounds awesome. awesome. But I guess this used to be a wax dip bottle too, but they don't. That's kind of, seems like a lot of breweries used to do it. Now they don't. I think when they blow up, it takes too long to, yeah, it just, to do all that stuff. Cause bomb, like Prairie bomb, like regular bomb used to be wax dipped. And just now it's don't not. have time or the money to do yeah. it anymore. Yeah. Makes sense. Yeah, I'm excited about this. I've had, um, there's one called Crooked Stay Brett, something Brett, and then I've had one with like lemongrass or something. Like they were good, but there was, there was nothing mind blowing about them. Um, Buddy Quinn got them from Whole Foods as well. But yeah, they had, today they had a whole shelf like dedicated to all these variants. They had blueberry. They had um, a, like a double blueberry, so maybe that was the dark yeah. blueberry version. So, yeah, it's it's everywhere in my, in our area right now. So, so I wasn't aware that they they distribute this far out. So I saw this and I thought it sounded good, so I grabbed it. But I guess they only distribute to Kentucky. I don't think they distribute to Indiana. I haven't seen them in Indiana. Yeah. So well, let's shut up and get this in a. I love raspberry sours. I'm a sucker for that. Oh, it smells like. Ooh, 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 dang, that's. That looks awesome. I'm trying not to smell it. That looks amazing. Beautiful color. That's perfect. That looks awesome. It looks like liquid raspberry jam. <laughs> like if you melt yeah, jam really... down, it's got that beautiful, almost like blood. <laughs> You yeah, know. it looks sticky, like, you know, like, a, it looks, I don't know how to describe it, like you said, the jam, like, if you touch the jam, or the, it reminds me of those little f fresh air things you put up, like the gel. Oh, okay. That, yeah, it reminds do. me of that. Right? <laughs> Hopefully it tastes better than that. Oh, it's a beautiful color, though, just this deep purple. Yeah, like, there's hardly any light getting through. It, it's more purple, I, I feel like. It's more purple than um, pink, like a raspberry pink, I guess, but. Oh, it looks awesome. Yeah, let's, let's smell this. Jam. Mm. I mm. swear, I can't get jam out of mine. Sour raspberries. With like hints of vanilla and like oakiness. Um, like, a, like a wet, I know this sounds generic, but like a wet hay. <laughs> like a, like a, <laughs> I know a lot of people describe that in uh, sours, but yeah, it's kind of like this barnyardy kind of funk, like, like a fresh yeah. dew on a hay. I know that sounds ridiculous. We unload these things at work, and they're like pre-made wreaths of hay, and it's just hay. And I like when I unload them, I always smell them. Oh, that sounds ridiculous, but it's okay. It smells like that. It sits in a moist trailer, <laughs> and it it's like a damp. I don't know nobody's gonna understand that, but. That's what I'm getting out of this. But just jam, jam, uh -huh. sweet jam, raspberry. That's what it smells like to me. Good God. I just get sour raspberries and like some vanilla and oakiness. And I think that simple is good. Yeah, like it's with, pretty straightforward, isn't it? Yeah. There's not a whole lot of... Um, it's simple, straightforward, and you get exactly what it says in the bottle. Like the description, you get you get that. Maybe a touch of vinegar, a slight touch in the nose. 
I guess that's just the sourness. Man, it smells delicious. It right. smells awesome. <laughs> let's let's go for it. Cheers. Cheers. Just the right amount of tart, like it's tart without being overpowering. I love it. I could drink this all the time. Wow, he's exactly right. It's it's tart. It's tart without being overpowering. It's like the perfect amount. Mm. It's sweet. Again, wow. I'll say it again for the hundredth time. Jammy, sweet jammy raspberry, but it's very acidic and vinegary too. Look, I, I get what you say about the jam, but it's not like you have some jams and it tastes fake, like this fake sweetness. Like the sweetness in this is absolutely, you can tell from like real raspberries. It's not like that. I was worried it was going to taste like Robitussin. Mm -hmm. You know, like sometimes raspberry sours can. It has like a fake raspberry taste. Maybe you think they use extract sometimes? In this? Or no. for some? Yeah. Yeah, uh, definitely. That's probably why I would assume that's why they taste like. Robitussin. This tastes like fresh, whole raspberries. Oh my goodness. My friend's <laughs> wife made a raspberry cheesecake once and she did like the whole, like strain the raspberries and everything. And the topping that she drizzled on it reminds me exactly like the raspberries are just delicious. This is... I didn't uh, think it would be as, as good as it is. Oh, this is hitting the, the spot. This is incredible. I, I'm kicking myself in the ass for not buying a bottle of this while I was down there today. Because there's only one left of this. Good job, Adam. I know. Well, I bought two four packs of Backwoods Bastard. Wow, this is incredible. Mm. If I could afford it, this would be something that I would have in my fridge year round. So up front, just to recap, it smacks you with raspberry. It's the first thing you, you, you taste is raspberry. And then over the palate, it gets increasingly more sour, but not insanely sour. So it's this nice blend of sweet raspberry, tartness, mm. sourness, and at the end, you're just, you're just left with ripe raspberry. Like you just ate yeah. a ripe raspberry. This is incredible. Perfect beer. Like, to me, I, I am over the moon on this right now. I'd love to try the dark version, whatever that is. Yeah. Um, I'd love to try the other ones now, just because if this one's that good, then I'd like to see what they can do with yeah. the other one. So. Totally agree. Holy crap. Yeah, this one's going to get a high, high rank for me. Um, I'm going to go 98. This is damn near perfect. Only reason I'm giving it a 98 is because I know they've, they've done a, a different version of this, so who knows, it could be better. A point or two better. Yeah. I'm gonna go 98. And I, I said it with all confidence. I'm gonna go 97. Because it, it is right up there with the best sours that I've had. Oh, I'm about to save some for the old wife to try <laughs> here in a minute. She'll be mad if I don't. God dang, this is good. <laughs> Oh, like such a, such a great beer. Such a great beer. So you're going to make a trip to Louisville tomorrow? Or? Well, no. <laughs> Probably not. But I have to go back next week, so we'll see. Maybe I'll scan the area. Because it was really prominent. Like, there was all, at least eight different ones. That surprised the hell out of me. Two I, I had had already, so I, I knew I didn't really necessarily want those. They were good, the ones I had, but, man, this one's just... I don't know. A step above, like it's, yeah. it's something special. And I don't know. Anything else you want to add? Just if you see it, buy it. And if you feel like sending us a bottle or eight, <laughs> 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 that's our shameless plug. <laughs> Last thing I'll say before I go away, I said it earlier. It, I was afraid it would taste like Robitussin because a lot of times these these wild ales tend to taste medicine-y. and like you mentioned, it could be from. They're not using, it yeah. could be an extract or something. They didn't skip any anything on, on this beer. This is all legit. Fantastic. Love it. Mm. <laughs> I can't. Like, I'm so happy right now. This is excellent. So, yeah, 98 for me. 97. From PJ. So, fuck yes. This is awesome. This is really good.
and I'm so happy that we got to try this. But yeah, I think that'll wrap this one up. Once again, it was the, the Crooked State of Raspberry Origins. Get it if you can. Yeah. If you see it, buy it. Unless it's Dang in our good. area, then leave it for us to buy. Dicks. <laughs> Just kidding. All right, thanks for watching, guys. We're going to enjoy this off camera. Cheers. And we'll see you again very, 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 very soon. Cheers. Thanks, y'all.